Are you willing to forsake 24 hours of your time for God? To disconnect yourself from the world like an overloaded receptacle to just unplug yourself from the world and spend time with God, family, and your children. Are you willing to do that? Isaiah 58 and verse 13, incredible verse about keeping the Sabbath, says this, If you turn away your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing your own ways, nor finding your own pleasure, nor speaking your own words, then shall you delight yourself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. You know, when this verse talks about riding upon the high, if you keep my Sabbath day, I will cause you to ride upon the high places of the earth. You know, there's many blessing, blessings <clears throat> connected to the Sabbath day. I'm part owner of a business, and we've been keeping the Sabbath ever since the business has been established for 30 or 40 years. We've been keeping the Sabbath. And so, you know, there are blessings like we've never had a lawsuit. Uh, we've never had any major accidents. Well, we had cuts and bruises, but, you know, to do this type of work, construction work, and which is, can be very dangerous work, scaffolding, working up high, power tools and uh, heavy equipment, and to never really have an accident, a serious accident. There, there's, there's, there's blessings connected to the Sabbath day that you're probably totally unaware of. In a way, it makes your life work. And just because you take off a period of time for God, God is able to make it work out. He's able to make you uh, possess more money than if you'd work seven days a week. You know, a lot of us think, oh, i got to work seven days a week in order to cover all the bills. Well, I'm able to have been able to keep the Sabbath for 30 years and have more money by taking a day off than I would if I worked. You couldn't pay me with my conviction to go out there and work on the Sabbath day because I know what would happen. It would be disastrous. We'd be having accidents and all kinds of things, you know, going on if I tried to tempt God in that area. So I don't take any chances. But we shut our business down on the Sabbath day, and uh, our workers don't work for us, and we don't do anything. There's, it's a day free from responsibility. What does that sound like to you? A day free of any responsibility. You want to lower your blood pressure? You want to live more healthier? Keep the Sabbath day. So this verse tells us, look, I'll cause you to ride upon the high places of the earth if you keep my Sabbath day. So what am, I, what am I saying? I'm saying, how do we love God? This is how you love God. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. All 10 of them. This is how we love God. Don't be a 90% Christian, okay? Because there's plenty of them out there, I can guarantee you that. Don't be a 90% Christian. Give God, go all in for it. Go wholeheartedly all in. Give God your very best and ride upon the high places of the earth. And maybe one day you'll catch up with me. I'm David Freeman with Is That Really in the Bible?